Good morning, you guys. I am going to try to give this whole vlogging thing a try. Obviously, I'm not doing Vlogtober, but um, you guys will see maybe just a typical vlog for me. I already feel like it is one of those days. It is really cold and I feel like behind, which I don't know why I feel that way. I feel like I have so much to say already since starting this little YouTube journey and all I do is just keep filming, filming, filming. So at some point I'm gonna have to bite the bullet on that and sit down and focus on editing so that you guys can see everything I've filmed. Today I'm going to be hopefully filming a review. Ooh, the lighting's bad again. I don't know if you guys can see this. Um, review of the Uppa Baby stroller. So I have the 2017 version and I have the Mesa car seat. Speaking of Mesa, check out my mess of a living room and the mess of a kitchen. Holy moly. Anyways, let's take you off of that and back to my mess. I do want to say I changed shirts for you guys, so you should be um, really grateful. I was wearing a super obnoxious Music City shirt, and if you don't know what that is, um, you should Google it and laugh. So I was like, maybe I should save the, the Music City shirt for the second vlog at least. I am going to go ahead and sit down and eat my breakfast. Um, it's actually not morning anymore, I've just realized. It is closer to noon. Stay at home mom life, or just mom life in general. You are eating breakfast at noon. Babe is asleep, so sorry if I'm talking extra quiet. I'm just trying to make sure she gets a good morning nap. I will see you guys in a little bit. I'm just sitting down finally to eat breakfast. I am eating some cream of rice. It's really good though. Even though it's like a grandma meal. I just, I don't know why I keep saying grandma. So this cream of rice um, also just has a little bit of brown sugar in it. But I pretty much eat that every morning. And I just realized I probably could be doing a morning routine for you guys. I would do that in today's vlog, but I pretty much have already done all of it. So I will go ahead and record that for you and that way you can see my version of a morning routine for stay-at-home mom. For those of you guys that don't know, I am a stay-at-home mom, new stay-at-home mom, new mom, all of those things. So I just finished breakfast and did a little bit of work. I really should have put in laundry before I did all of that, but I just wanted to sit down and eat since I hadn't done that at all today. So we have a massive load of laundry that you guys will get to see me do because that is super interesting. Um, the laundry that I'm going to be doing finally is the laundry from, oh my gosh, the laundry that I'm going to be doing the laundry that I'm going to be doing is from um, the baby girl clothing haul that I did and if I've already edited that and put it on YouTube then I will link it um, somewhere on this screen here. Every day. 
So I was just going to show you guys a couple of the things that I use. Um, don't mind the incredibly dirty basement of a laundry room I have. So for detergent, I use the Honest Company detergent. We use the liquid kind and to be honest I just picked this up because it was on clearance from Target. Um, I'm pretty sure Honest Company came out with like a new formula recently. I could be wrong about that but I thought I read that somewhere. Um, but in the meantime we picked up a couple of these to to use. I will say I do like the Honest Company detergent in general. We were using the um, pods but the pods aren't liquid like some other pods. The pods are like a powder. The pods are a powder so what I'd have to do is I'd have to do like an extra rinse on the I'd have to do an extra rinse on the wash because it would leave a lot of the powder in the washer. It was really weird. And then I'd find it in the dryer because I, you know, I didn't, I wouldn't know when I picked the clothes out and, of the washer and put them in the dryer. I didn't know that there was a bunch of like particles in the clothes, but then I'd find them in the dryer. So it was kind of, it was kind of annoying. What did get rid of it, if you guys are still buying those um, pods, are is an extra rinse on the washer which is kind of annoying and I feel like wasteful of water so we decided not to pick up more of the pods and maybe when she does her new formula that's what she's changing I don't know so then I also threw in one of these shout color catchers oh my gosh I can't hold it correctly um, because she has so many different clothes and so many different colors and honestly I love these things because they really prevent the colors from bleeding on to the other clothes and I think that's it you guys saw me use several of you guys saw me use several of these laundry bags um, I've picked them up over time from places like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Target, different things like that um, I really like to use those for her socks I really like to use this for her socks um, and then things like the shirts that have sequins and you know because her clothing is way more fancy than mine at this point. I thought I heard her wake up. She did not. Um, but yeah so that way it's not snagging on other things and if I don't have enough laundry bags like that then I just turn them inside out on some of the things that I know aren't quite as big of a deal of getting ruined so I mean what day in the life of a mom would it be without laundry Yes, I do you all of the time. I like to I like to I like to I like to love you every day. Okay, so for um, the dryer, I use these Baby Ganex dryer sheets. They are supposed to be fragrance free. Um, no parabens, phthalates, dyes, or fragrances. I don't know if I said that right, but basically um, I know there's a lot of chemicals when you use like regular dryer sheets, so I wanted some baby friendly ones. They look like this, they're kind of like paper almost, but they're supposed to reduce static, um, you know, and everything like a regular dryer sheet is, I think. Um, but you are supposed to tear them in half on that little perforated line right there just so I guess it doesn't get like sucked up in your dryer so I put that in there and so far it works pretty well I also use these dryer balls let's see if I can find one now that I've stuffed it in there I use these dryer balls they're wool dryer balls and you're supposed to also use these maybe instead of the dryer sheets because they're not supposed to have obviously the toxins and things like that added it added to it 
Um, I just picked these up from TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I think. And then um, I really have a hard time with static. I think we just have a lot of um, dry air specifically here and in our house. So I read online that like a little tip was to put up a safety pin on it. Um, obviously you have to be really careful because what if this came off, but I feel like that helps the static a little bit and I always check that it's still on the ball before I take all the laundry out, especially for the baby. Especially for the baby, that was really loud, sorry. So for lunch, lunch, ugh, I am just having some leftover barbecue chicken. We make this a lot because it's so easy. You just put some chicken breasts or whatever kind of chicken you want in the crock pot. You add some barbecue. My husband actually added this last time brown sugar. I think Worcestershire. Um, and I think he added a spice, but maybe not. Um, but you just mix it all together and then I just put it in the crock pot. Sorry, I am always swaying and I always seem to be out of breath. Um, I think the swaying thing, all you moms out there know that you just constantly sway now. But anyway, so we put that in the crock pot and let it cook. I usually like to make sure it's cooked. So I ramp it up on high for six, eight hours. Um, and that's like fresh chicken. I know a lot of you are probably going to be like, whoa. And my husband will probably be like, whoa, that's way too long. But I kind of just eyeball it. I keep watching it since I'm at home and I make sure that it's okay. Um, so yeah. And then sometimes if I do like the thicker chicken breast, you can just pull it apart and it's pulled barbecue chicken. So it's really good. Shout out to those other people who love to eat things cold. I'm going to eat this barbecue chicken just um, straight like this, straight out of the freezer. My husband, on the other hand, has to have warmed food. He says if you made it and you eat it warm, then you're supposed to reheat it and eat it warm. But I don't know. I just prefer cold cold food, cold fries, cold pizza. I don't really eat pizza anymore, but, um, cold rice. It's all really good. So I'm back in the corner on the couch. You guys are going to be like, that's the only place we see you, but it's a good place to not be heard so loudly by the baby and to just have some corner chat. Sorry, I'm eating something. I'm eating like some trail mix that I made basically. I didn't make it, but like put it together. That's my that's my version of making it. Um, but in case you guys didn't know, mainly the trail mix is candy corn. But they have these candy corn that are like black and orange and they taste like chocolate. I didn't know that existed and they're really good. I know candy corn is like really polarizing for some reason. I actually really didn't like it. I really used to not like it. I only liked these um, little pumpkin candy corn. I think these are super good. But um, ever since I was pregnant, like all of my, I wouldn't say all of them, a lot of my taste buds has changed. It's kind of interesting. Anyways, the reason I came on here is because baby is down for her second nap second one which is like a huge success because we were basically in the thick of some major sleep regression she's been like waking up at night way more than usual which is an insane amount because she was already waking up quite a bit at night um and she's like ready to be up but lots of different things that make me think it's some sleep regression, which obviously is normal, but really hard to get through. Um, with that said, obviously this is my first vlog and I feel bad that I look like a bum basically. 
I've been thinking about, let's be honest, I don't necessarily feel bad about it, but I truthfully have been looking for like a tinted moisturizer or a BB cream because I think that if I was able to just put that on really quick in the morning, it would be like at least a little bit of put togetherness and that way if I'd have to run out the door or if I am vlogging, it wouldn't be the scariest sight in the world. So if you guys have any suggestions for either of those things, so the tinted moisturizer or the BB cream, or if you think one is better than the other, because I really, I don't know. I am somebody who never wears foundation, so I think that I was told the tinted moisturizer is a thinner layer. So I think that's probably what I'm leaning towards. And I've also heard that the, is it the Tarte brand that people really like? The Tarte Tinted Moisturizer? I might totally be off, but um, let me know if you guys use those products, one of those things, if you really like it, if you have a brand that you really like, because I am definitely looking. You guys... The baby has taken a two and a half hour plus nap this afternoon. I have gotten so much done. It is insane. And I'm not looking for nap advice. I'm not looking for sleep advice. So if you're going to type in the comments nasty things about how I shouldn't be letting her sleep that long or I should wake her up, blah, blah, blah save it because girl needs some sleep so I am in shock like I actually just went and checked on her I'm like that that parent I have a monitor and I'm checking on her usually she's wearing her outlet like I don't know she's tired because she is up all night long but I'm excited this is the like first long nap I think she's ever taken like ever so it is a uh, quite a bit later now and I am editing a video for you guys um, my husband came home Donald came home from work and he took Kala with him to get some dinner and um, run some errands really quick so that I could have hopefully like an hour to, de to dedicate to some real good editing. But I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog for today before I forget. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, if you're excited that this channel is happening and that you want to see more vlogs definitely comment down below if you want to see more vlogs over anything because I can try to work that out and subscribe if you're new hit that subscribe button down below so that you can keep up with all of our journey and I think that's it guys I'll see you next time thanks for watching bye